Yo, 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 what's the deal? What's the dealings? What's going down up in this bitch? Yo, this is Champ Town 101 with one prince in over 10,000 lakes. What city I'm in? Minneapolis, Minnesota? Yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm in the soda, nigga. People in the press like to say that I'm an underground rapper. And for those who say I'm an underground rapper, your mama, okay? Your daddy, your uncle, and your fat Jewish sister-in-law. I am the Detroit hip-hop legend. I'm Champ Town, bitch. Not underground. I help build a house that Kid Rock lives in now. I work with Reverend Run from Run DMC. I've toured the world with Ice-T, with Public Enemy. I can drop names all day, that shit don't even matter. I am NOT a fucking underground rapper. Let's get that shit straight. I'm a worldwide Negro. Champ Town to Detroit hip hop is what cool hurt is to New York hip hop. Detroit, Michigan is a big bucket of crabs, okay? Everyone's in this big bucket trying to fight to get to the top, to make it, to break through. So I've done Detroit. I've run Detroit. I still run Detroit. I'm still in Detroit. I still have a place in Detroit, but I needed a change. So here we are, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yo, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Cause I'm Champ Town, bitch. All right, check this shit out. Let me break this shit down for you, what's going on. Grammy Award winner Tom Tucker had built this school out here in Minneapolis, Minnesota called IPR. For the last four or five years, he's been telling me, Champ, why don't you come down here and teach? What the hell are you talking about? I'm on tour with Chuck D and Public Enemy. I'm rocking shows around the whole world. What do you mean, teach? The experience, man, is great. You learn a lot. It's all real life, hands-on stuff. It's not no look in the book, read this chapter, come back with the book report, then you know, then you can go apply it in your real life. Champ's bringing it to his real life. We're out here doing this. No textbook, no none of that shit I just gave him. And I realized, after all these years of running straight jacket records for like the last 15 years of my career, all I've been doing is teaching. Wow, who am I? I am Keisha, Vice President of so that what brings me here to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Happy to be here. So let me explain what's going on with my classes and my course, okay? Um, I'm Walter Chancellor. Um, I'm a musician slash producer, uh, sax player. First and foremost, I've been playing sax since I was eight years old. So I come in a meeting with, oh, and this guy named, Oh, I'm from New York. He tells me it was impossible for me to come here and do what I said I was gonna do with my class. Somehow I got switched to this this guy. I had no clue who Champ was. I was like, Champ who? So I went in there, and there's this guy, and he's standing there, and he's he's the shit. I mean, he's standing there, and he's just taking over this class. I'm like, man. I gotta work with this guy. So I said, okay, I have 10 weeks. What are we gonna do? We're gonna get an artist from scratch. From the bottom, nothing at all. We're gonna do a whole album or an EP, and we're gonna shoot a real live music video. He told me, no way. There's no way you can do that in 10 weeks. So he made the stakes higher. He told me only had $1,000 to do it. Damn. So, first project, Sweets. 15 year old female from Detroit. We make stars. What I've been doing for years, I can help you become a star. If you're a star already, I can give you an idea to make your album sell five million copies on the next release. I've done this, okay? 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 The ball with the ball. Don't play with me. I ain't new to this shit, okay? I took this class too, I saw Champ Town came. First, first class he had, Sweets. Came through with the video, 10 weeks. Like man, what's he doing with that? I gotta take that class. Went over very well, like I predicted. Like I told you bitches, I was pulling it off, all right? One video done from the great Matthias Saunders flew in from Columbus, Ohio. Me and him put this shit down and we showed you how we do it. 10 week crash course, the Sweets EP. Where that bitch at? Bling! So, Sweets went over very well. The school is shook up. This is unbelievable. This guy comes here and he pulls something like this off with $1,000. So what they want to do now? Maybe they want to take the budget down to $800. Maybe they want to give me $2,000. It don't matter what you give me to work with. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make it do what it do, baby. You know how we do. This is Champ Town. Once again, I'm Champ Town, bitch. So, yo, 
We go on to the second quarter. Since I'm in Minnesota, Minneapolis, I had to do the research. You know, because I'm a black Negro from the east side of Detroit. I wanted to know what was I coming into. Was it going to be more blacks here? Was it going to be more whites here? What's the demographics for this whole area? And I found out that Minneapolis, Minnesota has the biggest Hmong population in the United States of America. Asian guy playing urban music equals lots of records sold. Bing! Now we're down to two people. We got Bruce Koo. You see him right here. We got Downey Yang. Girl, won't you dance with me? We're dealing with a multi-million dollar recordings complex here at IPR. You know, we have to get ready to go to work. I come here to show you against all odds that I believe in you like fire in the night. Two months of work and this is what they're doing? They can't even hit a note. I fucking want to like crawl in the rat hole somewhere. If I can find a rat hole, I want to open, crawl in it, under it, and dig another hole up under that one. Because all I talk about is Yang Koo. Yang Koo is my baby. This is what I've been working on. But I don't want to tell people that. Shit, Zig that acting the way he acting because he, it's like, damn, this is what she been working on? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's it's a it's a letdown, you know, for me. It made me look like I ain't shit, and I'm the shit. This is Champ Town 101, where reality meets realism, okay? There's no going around it, there's no escape. So I took it to the class. I said, yo, what are we gonna do with these Yang cool guys? Whatever I gotta do, I don't care. Cool. One month or one week, one month, two months, three months, Nothing in the studio. Nothing. Nothing. Five weeks in the studio, these fuckers couldn't get one song done. So, whoop. Bye bye, Yanko. I will not have no more bad semesters here. So, what I do now. I'm going out looking for talent. I'm hitting the streets here. I only been here a couple months now. And what falls into my lap? 14 year old Sammy Marie. Out on a limb. So like, Out on a limb. Try that. Out on a limb. Yeah, see, and, and use like dynamics. What I mean by that is like, so no, so you know, you get louder or you make it softer. Mm -hmm. You know, and in this case, you get louder. Out on a limb. Okay, let's see what's going on. I get the CD. Didn't listen to it for like three or four weeks. The a &R for Straight Jacket Records is my daughter, 13-year-old Michaela. Kayla say, yo, champ, or dad, whatever. She know the deal. She say, yo, this little girl Sammy Marie is hot. You need to listen to the CD. My first time on the stage actually singing, I was seven years old at the state fair. Um, I sang Castle on the Cloud. Remember I had to put dirt on my face with coffee? Yeah. <laughs> it was interesting and a lady approached my mother one day and at, after I performed on stage and asked me to get into the business and my mom was like, no, she's too young. But a couple years later, I'm here in the business doing what I love. I couldn't believe that it was a 13 year old white girl from Minnesota with a voice like that. For her at this day and age to have the courage, you know, to uh, to be a role model, and as I can see that in her character, uh, the type of songs she's doing, and the way that she carries herself, that she will definitely be a, a good role model for you know those to come. The coffee shop. Uh, it was a uh, champ, myself, Sammy, and her grandfather. And um, when I first saw her, I thought that she was very beautiful. She was very tiny but she had the biggest personality right off the bat. It's been a really fun experience with Miss Sammy. It's been a good learning experience for everyone just because she's just starting out, so it's learning. She's learning as we're learning. I've been working with Sammy Marie and her singing interest for about two years, and about maybe another two or three years in acting, and about 10 years in dancing.
listen to the CD, make the proper phone calls, and here we are. New semester, new artists. So I got some smart kids this semester. There's nothing gonna stop us from getting this job done. Sammy Marie, sign right here to Straight Jacket Live. We're going down here now. We're gonna see what's gonna happen in this semester. Chat Town 101.